We're at Negotiant Carpet and Rug with owner Bill Fallon. How are you, Bill? Hi, Mark. Good to see you. Nice to see you as well. So tell me a little bit about this company. When was it started? Well, we've been here for, we've been in the Needham Newton area for 80 years now. Charlene's grandfather started. You look real started. good for yeah, 80 years old. <laughs> and we've been in the area for 80 years, and uh, we do a lot of, most of our work actually is done within like 15, 20 miles of Needham. So we are really a local business, and we try and keep it that way. So who actually started the company? You're saying Charlene's so? grandfather in 1928. And Charlene is? Is my wife, I Charlene Nagosian. So it's Charlene's so, grandfather in 1928. Started the business, yep. Then her dad ran it all through while Charlene was a young girl. And Charlene's been involved in the business since she was in high school, actually. So she's been in the business, I think, more than 20 years herself. No kidding. And yep. how long have you been at this actual location? We've been here about 20 years, and we were in Newton before that, right on Needham Street. And how do you like being in Needham? Needham is probably one of the best towns that we can be in. When I talk to other people in the business, we seem to be doing better than most, and we attribute a lot of that to Needham in this area. And who are your customers? Is it the homeowner? Is it the builder? Who are the people coming in here to buy carpet? Well, I, I would say uh, probably two-thirds of our customers are the owners themselves doing either remodels or it's time to change something else in the home, freshen it up. We do do a lot of business with uh, builders in the area, mostly in Needham or Wellesley, Dover. And uh, then we do a little bit of commercial work, but mostly uh, we're residential. What do you like best about this business? What do you enjoy most about? Well, well, we like working for ourselves. I mean, that's the best thing is that, you know, there's, uh, there's gains and, you know, you, you, what you put in, you get out. Uh, there are a lot of hours involved, as you know, but uh, we, we love the business and we like what we do. What do you find most challenging? Uh, the challenge today is actually um, trying to trying to make money and, and with uh, with the environment. Money, that's the way important. It is. Making, that is important. Making a profit <laughs> is important. <laughs> but uh, but it's it's tough today with uh, with the rising costs and you know people are watching the dollar. But uh, we continue to do well, and that's that's the challenge is is surviving and still providing the best service we can. I'm sure there are a lot of people out there that are looking for the products you carry and. They can pick up the yellow pages or go online, and there are a whole bunch of different places they can go. Uh, why should somebody come to your store? Well, what we, uh, what we do here is we really focus on, uh, we have a great sales staff. We try and focus on quality, service, and getting the customer what they want uh, and what they need, actually. We don't want them to overbuy or underbuy. We really try and make sure they get what they want, and then once they know what they want, we make sure it's installed correctly and uh, we stand behind the install. So that's our biggest, uh, why we really feel we're, we're the best value around, is we're here, we've been here for 80 years, and we'll continue to service you. Well, I know that uh, whenever I've come in here, you've been very helpful, and I've had the privilege of dealing with you. Yeah. Are you in the store personally a lot? Are customers able to come in and deal with you directly? I am, I'm in the store. Uh, an owner is in the store probably six or seven days a week, actually. And uh, I am out meeting customers at job sites during the day. But uh, we do have a big handle on the business. The owners, Charlene and I, have a big influence on the business. And when people have an installation that they're considering, do they need to come in here with all their measurements? Or do you have people that go out and will take measurements? How's the process work? Well, they, they would come in, and we would uh, choose something that they like. Uh, we don't ask that they bring in measurements if they have them. That's terrific. But uh, we do go out, we measure, we give a free proposal, so there's no cost associated with that. And uh, we try and get them the design they need, and then we go out and help them with the install and some on-site consultation, too. And that's no charge. I mean, that's one of the big services we provide here. And if we wanted to learn a little bit more about the company and some of the products, do you have a website? We do. We're at uh, www.negotiancarpet.com. I know millions of people drive around 128 every day, and they can see you from the highway, and they see the sign. Yeah. But what is the actual street address here, and what's the easiest way for people to find you? We are at 57 Crawford Street, and we do get a lot of that, especially, believe it or not, from people from Needham who see the store on the highway, but they're unsure where we are because we're not exactly in a retail location. We're right behind Muzzy Ford off of Needham Street. Got it. Now, Needham Business Association, uh, I believe you're a member of the Needham Business we Association. Yeah. Do you participate in a lot of the Needham events? Are you involved in the community here? We do. 
contribute to uh, fundraisers locally in the town, the Needham Public Library. We sponsor uh, sports teams. And most importantly, uh, Needham is important to us uh, for the customer base. Uh, Charlene, my wife, grew up here, and a lot of our business, uh, most of our business, comes directly from Needham. So we make sure that uh, Needham is, is very important to us. Tell me a little bit more about the installation process. Uh, we, we touched on that briefly, but uh, you can go to almost any store and, and there's just racks and racks of, of carpeting, all different qualities. You see some brand names, but I would imagine that a very big part of the process is how experienced is the installer? Right. How uh, well is he trained? Tell me a little bit about uh, how much difference an installer makes. Right. Well, it's a huge part of our business. I mean, the installer can spend more time with you than I do. So uh, we, we try and hire the best installers we can. Our installers try and make sure every single job is a, as if it was in his own house. And uh, we, we have all of them are certified, insured. They work exclusively for us and it's a big part of our business. We try and have the best installers, and our installers have been with us, uh, most of them have been with us over eight or 10 years. Fantastic. Now, tell me what you've seen as far as changes over the years. You've been doing this for a long time. Are the products still the same? Have the products changed? Do they make them out of different materials? How has the industry changed? Well, I'll t the uh, the wall-to-wall -wall business has changed quite a bit. Uh, the houses have a lot more hard surface in them, wood, tile so a big part of our business is now turning towards area rugs uh, larger area rugs with custom borders or uh, halls and stairs are a big part of the business today um, and there are more uh, wools patterns colors involved in today's carpet and recently there's a call for green carpeting environmentally correct carpet which uh, is made from over one-third corn oil and we do have uh, a lot of that on the floor as well. So you have some of those items you could actually show us today? Yes, I, I plan on showing you some of those well, things today. Before you take me on the tour, Bill, just tell me, do you have any advice for the homeowner or for the uh, person that's getting ready to put some flooring down? Do you have any words of wisdom for them? Well, I would say come to Negosian Carpet first. And, uh, and, and I knew you were going to say that. Shop <laughs> around. I, I, I encourage people to shop around, actually, and get educated on what you're buying and then go with someone you feel comfortable with. I mean, that's the most important thing. Go with someone that you feel is gonna stand behind the product and lead you in the right direction. Good advice, let's take a tour. Okay.